hey guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel and we have another dev stream recap for you guys so yes the dev stream was today and i'm gonna go through all the notes and little tidbits that we got from the stream uh that was on today so i will put a link to this reddit post in the description below this is by calex uh as well so like a uh, you know a bit of a shout out to them but uh if you guys are going to enjoy the video make sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe if you guys do but now let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna go through the points guys and give you my thoughts and opinions as well. So um, we'll get into it and let me know what you guys think of these in the comments section below as well. There's quite a few to get, get into, so let's get straight into it. So dev stream recap. So this is for the 26th of February, which of course was today. So Hawkeye dev stream on March 12th with the combat developer and animated joining in. So um, pop, it's basically what, what's gonna be like what we had with Kate Bishop where they're going to show off their, his abilities uh, and his uh, moveset. So, and hopefully some of his skills as well. So that should be really cool as well. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, a week before he actually does release. There's also going to be a new Black Widow and Miss Marvel skin arriving next week, which is very exciting news. Um, I don't know what this could be. Uh, you know, it's very, you know, considering that what we've gotten in the past couple of days, you know, obviously the new Iron Man skin. Not a fan of it, but I know the comic fans are really happy about it. So, you know, it, it doesn't tell if it's going to be a comic book skin or anything like that. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but I'm very excited for these ones to come in. Uh, next week, we'll be getting a minor patch, which is very cool, which is going to fix Iron Man's noise glitch and brings back battery charge on his missiles uh, and also repair the King Hulk's hair glitch as well so uh, that'd be good I know the battery uh, charge on his missiles has been off for a while now it's been for, for a couple months I believe uh, and the noise glitch I'm not too sure what that was let me know what you guys uh, what, what that was in the comment section below uh, the March 18th patch, which is of course the Hawkeye uh, release, will include an extensive patch note such as fixing the harm room issues, which of course we knew that already, and they teased other things that will get revealed beforehand on social media. So we'll get some news of what is actually going to be coming in the patch uh, beforehand as well. So that's very, very nice to hear. A lot of communication, which is exactly what we need for this game. Uh, PvP is not a priority, uh, as they want to focus on what they have. Um, so you know, it doesn't mean that they won't have it won't happen in the future, but uh, you know, it, it's it is something that they're not looking for. They're not looking into at the moment, which is a bit of a, a bit of a shame. But you know, they want. Uh, my guess is they want to improve on what they already have, and then you know, once that's up and running uh, to a good degree, that they will move on to other things. Uh, Hawkeye's Stark Tech inspired armor is called Iron Eyes, so that's very cool. I don't know, but I don't believe that's a skin that we've have seen before in a comic. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, now, a big thing on Cloning Labs. So Cloning Labs content is almost finalized. They mainly focused on progression and fixing the bugs that affect the Omega Threat Levels gameplay negativity. Uh, the bug is an issue because of the longer playtime necessary to finish it and stands out with these le lengthy missions. The mission will take several hours as you need to solve the puzzles and only get hinted at throughout the environment. Teamwork is essential. And it's also stated that there are no checkpoints in these missions as well. So you're gonna need to be in it for the long haul. And uh, yeah, it, you know, you're definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna be team-based game. So uh, definitely interesting to see how this all gonna works out. And like I said, a couple of hours. So definitely gonna be interesting when it comes out. Hopefully the reward will be worth it. Uh, once the roadmap gets signed off on, uh, they can reveal they're working on to the public more. Uh, Crystal Dynamics has an internal one set, but it is working hard on getting approved for the public. So, roadmap is coming, guys. They just got to wait for approval. Uh, Xbox has matchmaking issues, which aren't connected to, Chris, to CDs, uh, to Crystal Dynamics, but with the platform. So, there you go. For those of you matchmaking issues on Xbox, I know you, there's a, been a few of you. Um, that is why it is all got to do with Xbox, unfortunately. Crafting isn't getting worked on specifically, but they want to offer more freedom with gear stats in Loot 2.0. They're also adapting the loot drop to balance it, which is you know, really good. Um, you know, obviously we know that Loot 2.0 is still destined for this year. Um, they did say this, they haven't like, pushed it back or anything yet. So uh, that's very nice to hear. So, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people are waiting for Loot 2.0 to come out as well. Uh, Parker Place and vendors are being looked into. They are working on an update and looking into a high frequency for the offerings. Current drops weren't changed or tuned, so they should remain the same. So 
obviously with the vendors and the marketplace at the moment, well, it's especially with the vendors, you get a lot of, uh, I, I've noticed that you get a lot of rare gear recently. Um, you know, it may, you might get one epic or one uh, legendary. Um, so it'd be nice to, you know, get a bit more variety in there as well. Because who, who really wants blue gear when you're already power 140 or 150? You don't really need it. Uh, progression balance is being looked into, such as better farming options to avoid repetition and leveling off characters. Challenge locks will be revolved in the March 18th patch, so when 4K revolt uh, comes out. The elevator dialogue will get off, cut off due to faster loading times on next-gen consoles, but they're looking into it. Percentage issues with the war tables getting looked into. Crystal Dynamics would love a Professor Hulk skin, so they're looking into it, which is, uh, you know, pr pretty cool. You're obviously MCU skin. Uh, emote wheel is something they're still actively looking into. You know, obviously, that's we've been uh, teased about this a couple of times. Have to feedback highlighted again for the upcoming PlayStation 5 versions. And a big one I know a lot of you guys are really waiting for, and that is the campaign replay. Now, it won't add any new features, but that is why I don't call it a new game plus. Uh, it will release sooner than other content that is being worked on. So hopefully, probably not too long after the Hawkeye patch. I don't think it's going to come with the Hawkeye patch. Again, don't quote me on that, guys. But I think it'll be coming very soon after. Maybe maybe in, uh, you know, who knows. If Hawkeye's coming out in March, hope maybe this comes out in April to tie us over until the next uh, DLC. But we'll have to wait and see. And now there's just a few other little bits and pieces that I'd like to go into, guys. Uh, so they are working on some other in-game content, but they can't go into specifics. What this could be, I have no idea. Um, a lot of people have been referring this game to Anthem recently as well. Um, and also, interesting, someone said, please don't go the same way as Anthem. And Phil said, we're, not, we're still here. So, you know, definitely uh, a big point there. And with how much they're actually giving away in this developer stream, it looks like they are here to stay, guys. I think a lot of people are... You know very uh down and about about the games at the moment you know obviously with you no know, not a lot of content recently you know um you know one here in the last seven months of release and you know obviously hawkeye's coming in you know just under three weeks now uh obviously you know a lot of people complain that he's another archer but uh i i think you know it's it's just a a low moment in the uh in for the game guys i definitely think i've got a positive outlook on it um, and you know, um, until this game actually does die, until they actually do cut support of this game, until that actually does happen, I am going to be positive about the game because you know, if you if we're all negative, that's you know, it's just not going to help anyone or anything to do with it anymore. So uh, there's no point of going, uh, you know. <laughs> There's just no point, guys. So that's that's what I think anyway. Uh, they also said they can't talk about Spider-Man Clint first. That's all they said about that. There was also some content they wanted to release much earlier, but they had to push it back due to delays and still not being in the studio. Obviously, they're still working working from home, so obviously that that obviously will contribute to delays, unfortunately. And there we go, guys. That is the weekly recap for the developer stream today. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it, uh, and let me know what is your what are you most looking forward to? What is your one thing, your big one takeaway from this uh, from this video and from you know the news that has been given out? Uh, yeah, big big news update today, guys. So very cool to hear. You know, a lot of news uh, on its way, a lot of stuff plans for the future of the game as well. Um, so yeah, so you know, big things to look out forward to next week, guys. New patch, your new uh, little patch coming out to fix Iron Man. New Black Widow skin, new Kamala skin, and obviously we have Hawkeye coming, uh, you know, in less than three weeks now as well, which is very exciting. So I um, hope you guys are excited as well. If you are, let me know in the comments section below, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys did. Again, thank you guys so very much for watching, and as always, happy gaming.